hey hello welcome so in this video we are going to learn how we can create connection in oracle in json generation 3 so as you can see this is on home screen now i have to create connection to do operation or perform transactions in oracle fusion so you can see this is my fusion url so i will make a copy of this fusion url this url will help while creating the connection so i will use create rest connection here so for creating the connection what we need to do we need to navigate to the design and here in the design here we have connections so once you will click here it will ask you to select our select adapter so here what we need to do just we need to click on the create and this is all the list of the adapter available so as we have to create a rest connection so i will select rest here you can see and now once you will select you have to provide the name so you can see in generation 3 all these details we have to provide in the middle of that but now they change the style so now i will provide the name xx rest connection as this is the instance et i will give et eltg eltg now this is the name and this is the identifier of my connection so this showing error because i somewhere i have given the space here in the last so now done and i will create the connection as a trigger and invoke so that i can use that connection anywhere in my integration that can be the initiator or a starting of the integration or for invoking the any rest api is for this for this transaction or for this like instance right so now what we need to do we need to just click on the create so once we'll create it will open the configuration details we have we have to provide the configuration details and now here we have all the details so here you can see the properties properties can be the connection type and here we will select rest based api as we are going to call uh, use this integration connection as calling the rest services and now we don't require we require the connection url so here we have already make a copy of that so i will just paste this connection url here so that it will make a connectivity for this the instance only right so now here you can see in the security we have additional of uh, information also like in we see optional properties we have tls version enable two factor and also i don't have that kind of uh, configuration so i will just skip and the, in the basic authentication we have to provide the user and the password of this fusion instance so let me provide that one so i have given the user and password for that and now what we need to we need to go for test so once you will click this drop status will be changed and now you can see the connection test is was successfully and we have to save so once you will save you can see our connection connection status has changed to configure now it's ready to use in our integration so this is a simple way you can create connection in our or in in generation 3 in next video i will show you how you can create a rest connect soap connection thank you so much for watching